Yo, what is going on guys? I'm back here in another video and today I am on Toxicscape. Now, before we actually get into this video, I just want to announce a giveaway real quick. There will be giving away two uh, Invictus boxes for the first commenter and then there will be a random winner who will win a super donator ticket. Uh, all you have to do to enter the giveaway is make sure you are subscribed, like the video, comment your in-game name and also make sure you turn on notifications to get notifications of further videos. Anyways, let's get into the video. Now starting off, I'm just going to be opening a few mystery boxes. I'm going to start opening up 21 super mystery boxes. Hopefully we can get some really uh, good luck on these. So let's see if we can get some amazing loot. As you can see right there, we just got an ultimate reward which is the American Virtus uh, mask. We also got a rare reward which is the Elite Pernix body. Let's hope that we can get some more ultimate rewards or stuff or something really good here. Um, not looking too special. Oh, here we go. We just got American Turbo Plate Legs, which is pretty good. A Gold Brutal Whip, which looks really great. Then we got another rare reward, which is another Elite Pernix body. Uh, oh, and back to back Elite Pernix bodies. Look at that. Um, now we just got a regular mystery box, which uh, didn't give anything special. There we go. Another ultimate, which is the American Turbo Plate Legs. Um, let's have a look here if we can get some other really cool items so we got another um, elemental brutal as well another mystery box um, uh, let's have a look here Oh, this was actually a rare reward, the Inga Sword. So let's have a look how it looks. Oh, it actually looks quite dope, but I'm going to keep on the mist, um, mystery gun. Uh, we also just got a gold chain, which is really nice. And then we just got another Sasha Brutal Whip at the end. Let's just bang these real quick. As I said in the beginning of the video, I am giving away uh, two of these boxes. So I'll be opening 26 of these. So you guys have like a general idea of what you can get from these boxes. So let's see. Oh, here we go. These give some insane rewards. Apparently, we just got a Flame Pernix um, uh, Helm as a regular reward. As you can see, these are just standard rewards. There is a really cool GFX as well. Oh, here we go. We just got a super donated ticket from one of these, which is apparently an epic reward. Um, damn, a super donated ticket from one of these boxes is actually quite nice. Let's see if we can get some other really cool rewards. Flame Torva plate legs are apparently a standard reward from these. Oh, here we go. We just got an Inga plate body, which is an epic reward as well. That's very nice. Rainbow plate body, white glass wings. Oh, here we go. We just got another super donated ticket. Damn, that's some luck right there. And an AK-47. That looks dope. And Dragon Bone, Ice Katana, Lion Shield, Flame Torva chest. Nothing too special here. Come on, can we get another really cool reward just before the end? And um, oh, we just got a prime sort of a plate body here, but we did manage to get two super um, donated tickets just from these boxes. Also, an Inga plate body, which is super overpowered, probably. Uh, let's have a look at the stats right now. So, these are yeah, these are a lot better than what I'm wearing right now. So, that's super nice. Right, now that all that is done, I'm just going to showcase the home area real quick. Um, now the home area is pretty basic, it's pretty nice as well to be honest. Um, you have these fountains which will regain your health, prayer and run energy which is very nice. It also will regain your stats if they are drained. Um, you also have an Iron Man right here, daily task manager where you can get your daily tasks, get some rewards from these. You actually have a YouTuber advisor right here, um, so he will explain you that you can actually get YouTube rewards in game. Um, right here you have King Percival, which is uh, an NPC that shows how many NPCs in the game have been killed, how much you have been, uh, how much NPCs you killed and stuff. If you go over here, you just have a bunch of shops right here, like actually a shitload of shops as you can see. And right here, I'm just going to show this YouTube shop real quick. This is where you can spend your YouTube points if you actually did manage to uh, make some YouTube videos and you got some rewards. You can buy yourself some YouTube Torva, you can buy a, a YouTube banner, YouTube cape, YouTube top hat, YouTube icon, uh, YouTube chain, pet, the pet mystery box, and then a bunch of other things as well here. So you can also buy some boxes with YouTuber points, so you don't have to donate for them or stuff. So yeah, that's super nice. Just by making videos, you can get some in-game rewards as well. Besides that, there are a bunch of shops here that you can check out yourself. I will not be doing that right now. I'll just be showcasing some other things um, in this video as well. So right here, you have your Slayer Master where you can get a task. Right here, you can Prestige. And then you have the Lottery Manager where you can enter the lottery. Um, right here, there is a Well of Goodwill where you can donate some money into if you want to. Of course, a portal to make some instances, and then you have a uh, teleport to the Maze Obelisk, which is a mini game that you can participate in for some uh, maze points, which you can then spend in one of the shops right there. 
Now besides that there are a bunch of teleports as well so let me just go over the bosses real quick and as you can see there are a ton of bosses right here. Now these aren't actually all the bosses because I'll be showing some more bosses in just a second in the raids teleports. There are some few other bosses that also drop a bunch of stuff but as you can see Oblivion Dragon drops the Oblivion stuff, Inferno Minigun and a bunch of other items. I'll just be clicking through all these bosses real quick, as you can see, there are a bunch of custom bosses as well, which drop a bunch of custom items, so yeah, that's really cool to see, there are a lot of customs on the server, so uh, also a lot of bosses, uh, as you can see right here, the ice, um, what's it called, my bad, the ice skeleton can drop a icy santa hat which looks really dope in my opinion i can't really equip it but i think it looks really dope besides that it can also drop these super donator tickets so that's super nice um you have a bunch of other drops uh a bunch of other boss right here as well you also have the groudon which can drop the groudon pet which looks super cute and uh, it also drops trix armor which is very good and then you also have vorkov now vorkov has a bunch of cool drops uh, you can get a Dream XP potion for 8 hours, you can get a piano, you can get an extreme donator ticket uh, Invictus box, you can get a Dream Mystery box as well from these, you can also get a customizable Icy Glaive which is really nice because you can of course customize it, and a Fortune Level 3 which will give you an increased drop rate, also the Infernal Cape which is a very good cape. Then of course you still have a bunch of other bosses as you can see right here. Now besides that if you go to the raids and you scroll up right here. You have Voldemort which is one of the bosses. It can drop the Elite Pernix, the Zarite Bow, 24k Dragon Kite Shield, Gold Brutal Whip and Elder Wand. Vendura, then you have the OG Dragon which can drop an Electronic Katana which is very nice. Then you have the Raiden which can drop the Crystal Armor and then a Frostbite Staff. And Orb of Energy which is super nice. Then you have the Teeter of, uh, of Blood Boss, as you can see right here. You can actually manage to get just to see her from here, a Sight of Vitter, the Grazi Rapier, a Sanguinsti Staff and a Averning Defender, so that's super nice as well. Then you have Diablo, which can drop the Devious uh, Armor, which looks very nice. The boss itself looks sick, I'll just teleport to it in a second just to show you guys, because that boss looks amazing. Then you have the Avengers, which can give you the Avenger Armor, but besides those you can actually also get Avenger uh, points from this which can then spend in one of the shops right there so that's super nice as well. Then you have the Trinity, he will drop a bunch of armors as you can see he drops the Crystal Plate Body, Devious Armor and then Emperor Armor, also a Keone Staff and a Electronic Katana so he can basically drop uh, a bunch of drops from the other bosses together and then you have King Kong vs Godzilla. They can drop the Olaf's Helm, Olaf's Death Side, and Devious Armor, and then the Electronic Katana, so that's super nice. Anyways, let's go to Diablo real quick, uh, because this boss looks really dope. Now, as you can see, this is a raid, so you will be um, here with multiple people to actually be able to kill it. It has a bunch of HP, um, and I'll probably die in a second, but yeah, once you kill this, you will be able to claim your reward. Of course... The more damage you do, the more uh, the better your reward will be, so yeah, that's super nice. Now, of course, besides all these bosses, you also have the monster teleports, where you can just go ahead and kill your slayer tasks and uh, just kill monsters to train on and stuff. You also have these cities teleports, where you can go to for doing some stuff, clue scrolls, maybe doing a hide and seek if you want to give away some stuff to the community. Some skilling teleports, of course, for training up your skills, which would be very nice if you are going for a max cape or stuff. Um, and then of course you have some mini games as well that you can go to Duel Arena, Barrows, Castle Wars, Zar Caves, Warrior Guild, Assault and Dominion which is a custom mini game, Nomad and Angry Goblin, and then you have Battlegrounds which is also a custom mini game. You can also teleport to the market. You know, this is a place where you can actually just buy and sell items. Uh, there are a few NPCs here as well, like for example the player owned shops. Uh, <coughs> my bad. I'm a bit sick, so my bad for that. So yeah, you can actually check here, uh, check the store. So um, let's have a look here at Bentley. He's selling some Manta Rays, for example. But yeah, you can definitely check the stores here for some other players as well. So yeah, that's super nice. Now let's just go ahead and go to some of these zones. I'm just going to start off with the smallest zone first, which is the regular donator zone. Now as you can see, this zone is nothing really too special. You have the prayer altars right here. You have some abyssal demons that you can kill. A chest right here that you can search for some rewards. Um... Oh, you actually need donator chest points to open up this chest. Now, for this, you need a crystal key to open it up. Uh, but I don't have a crystal key. And now, you can ta uh, talk to the mage. He will teleport you to the portals minigame, which is a custom minigame as well. I'm not going into that right now. 
Uh, we can trade here and talk to these for some other shops which uh, are basically cosmetics and stuff. So yeah, that's the regular zone. There's nothing really too special here. However, if we go up to the uh, other zones, you can actually get a bunch of other cool things. Like for example, if we go to the super donator zone, let's go ahead and teleport right here. Um, this zone is nothing too special as well, to be honest. Um, you have Dr. Harlow, uh, if I pronounce his name correctly, where you can buy yourself some cool rares uh, for donator points, which look really cool. You can also get some uh, cash right here. <coughs> Uh, and some other items like a sword of fear and that stuff now besides that you also have the other zones and um, going to the super dungeon which is for super donators or higher rank now this dungeon looks really nice because you have a bunch of npcs that you can kill here for some easy money but if you go to this side of the cave you actually have a bunch of mini bosses like for example mini corporal beast mini tormented demon mini Grador, mini kbd uh, mini titan mini barrel chest all that good stuff um, so yeah that's really nice as well and uh, you can kill these for some of the rewards which will be a bit rarer than the normal boss but they are a bunch uh, a, a lot simpler uh, to kill than the normal bosses now if you go uh, to teleport again you also have a frost dragon dungeon which just is frost dragons of course but then let's go to my favorite zone which is the extreme donator zone and now this zone looks really amazing because you have a bunch of things that you can do right here of course you have the extreme chief now if you are a um, extreme donator you can actually get yourself some um, rewards every single day for example i just got 2.5 bill cash um, so yeah that's super nice uh, I meant 2.5 trill cash, um, my bad right there. Now besides that you have a bunch of bosses right here, you have the Gradons, you have the Ice Skeletons, you have Jaius Hose, you have the Shadow Kings, um, if you run around a bit you have more Ice Skeletons there. Then right here you have the Phoenix, you have the Chaos Elemental, the Sea Troll Queen, um, right here you have Dream Trees and Lava Trees which are some custom trees. And then if we go a bit down uh, to the south again, you have Olaf's that you can kill for rewards, then the Necromancers that you can kill for rewards. So yeah, this zone has a bunch of cool custom bosses and NPCs that you can kill for a lot of nice loot. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to enter the giveaway. Also, make sure that you are subscribed and turn on those notifications for notifications of further videos. But anyways, this will be the end of my video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.